may draw us an ooh and ah here and there, but in the long run, you know, it doesn't really help help me kind of pro progress musician wise anyhow. So I've been trying to stay away from some of the. You're much more musical. I just tell Ray when you first started, you know, you were really really wanky, you know. Yeah. You played everywhere, all those real fast runs, and you may have gotten those oohs and ahs, but mm -hmm. now it's you know it's, it's very musical. Yeah, that's what I've been going for. Your tone is, is pretty good on, on the lower register, but it gets pinched when you go to the middle. It does, yeah. Um, just, just for a second, let's play in your, your draw four. Okay. Just like this? Try that, yeah. That's good. That's great tone. Okay. Let's try the draw five. Good. Six. That's great. That's that's really good tone. Okay. So let's let's try playing again. But now this time it's like instead of your your natural position seems to be with closed hands, try with open hands and then close it for effect and do waz and, and things like that. Okay. Because if you're playing acoustic, like up against a, a mic, you're not gonna have a lot of projection if you're always like this. And you actually I think you, you lose more dynamics if it's always closed versus as open as your your home position and then you close it and do was and open it. you know what I mean? All right. Okay. Now these are just suggestions. No, so. I, yeah, it's something I really thought of before, but See you thinking first before you like. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand up there. Right. Just have your hand right here, just like this. But you see, it's it's not closed. Okay. So like. You see how it's it's, it's all just it's right there. So I'm not. Taking that extra fraction of a second, get my hand up. Okay. It, it's just, it's there. Okay. okay, your tone got thin, buddy. You hear that? Just a third part. I liked it. That yeah. was good. Yeah. So now, and I, I'm being really nitpicky, but I mean, it's oh. kind of the point of this. Yeah. Let's um, play with more space. Because you're throwing a lot of ideas out there. It's great that you're repeating some things, you know? So that was, that's, that's way cool. Um, I mean, that's stuff we worked on months and months ago, just having him just repeat things. So... But let it breathe a little bit. Let me play with Ray just for a second. Now I'll show you what I mean by, by breathing. And try to tell a story when you're playing. Okay. Rather than just kind of playing, okay, I can do this, and then I can do that. Because to me, when you're, you're sewing, it sounds segmented. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a guy who, who can, can write, but he doesn't have his ideas together. All right. 
So we'll work on, on having the ideas and, and setting up things. So let's, let's play this for a second. more like mournful notes you see how yeah. there, there's more texture to what i was playing mm. and playing blues it's it's mournful music and that's some of the stuff that you were sort of lacking so it, it, right. it's okay to really stretch out some of those notes drag them out and that's where that hand while stuff comes in it's really effective you see how that was almost just like one note okay so let's let's try some of that, but let it breathe a little bit. Think um, think bluesy, be mournful, and um, let's see. And, and do do this too. I, I think to kind of corral some of your thoughts and your ideas. Don't play anything above hole four. But now try try this. Try try dragging some of the, the notes down like in, in hole three because you have such a range to, to make a note fall. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. And that'll give you that mournful sound. And really utilize it because especially in blues that's what what really will make you stand out because for some reason a lot of people don't do that but it's just a natural thing that's in holes two and holes three where you can really just drag out these notes and just squeeze every ounce of juice out of it <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah man. And, i mean you don't have to restrict yourself but just to me the real blues is kind of locked in between holes one and four that's where you're gonna get your most mournful sound right, right. anything above that's gonna get a little flashy you're right. 